Hey, what's up guys, Exaltic here. In this video, I've got three iOS 14 features which you can get right now on your Android phone and I believe those features can certainly be helpful to you. The first one is the backed up gestures. As we know, in iOS 14, Apple has introduced this feature where we can double tap or triple tap on the back of the phone to launch actions. So here in my Android device, I can launch my desired app, toggle the flashlight on or off and more just by using this tiny app called Tap Tap. So here in the actions menu, I can predefine actions that should happen when I double tap on the back of my phone. So I can launch my desired app, launch the voice assistant and launch the camera, toggle the flashlight on or off or do system based actions such as opening the quick settings or taking a screenshot. And this app is currently is in alpha build and this may be a bit unstable, but soon we can get the final version of this app. In the actions list in this app, the first action is given the most priority. If it fails to work, then it moves on to the second one. And even if the second one fails, it moves on to the third one and so on continuously. So here I can just double tap on the back of my phone to launch the Google Assistant or else I can double tap to take screenshots and more other actions. The second one is the recording indicator. In iOS 14, when an app uses your microphone or camera in the background, you will get warning dot notifications right on your status bar so that you can get alert and safeguard yourself from hackers who can intrude into your privacy just by using your phone's microphone and camera. So right here in my device, you can notice this orange colored warning dot notification which says that some app uses my microphone in the background. Actually, my voice recorder app is currently using my microphone in the background right now. And this can easily be identified in Android by using the access dots app, which is the port of the recording indicators from iOS 14 to Android. And here you can also customize the color of the warning dot notifications that appear on your device. Apart from customizing the colors of the warning dot notifications, you can also change the position in which they appear on your screen by selecting preset locations, or if you need a custom position and custom size, you will have to contribute some money to the developer as they have been made a premium feature. The last one is the control center. So in order to get control center on Android, I prefer installing the Me Control Center app from Trader Incorporation because this app has good visuals, good UI, great animations ported from MIUI 12 and using this app is a great experience. Here in the settings of this control center app, you can customize your control center to the next level by changing the accent color, the background color, the background image, changing the layout of the icons and selecting dark mode, showing data usage right on your control center and more other tweaks just in this single app. So this is all about the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.